everybody, Lana Ashley here. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak on diversity and inclusion. So there's a few questions that were given to us that we wanted to answer uh, back. So here I go. Uh, one is, how do we celebrate diversity? So for myself, I celebrate diversity by acknowledging the two types of diversity. Uh, one is the surface level and the demographic level. So by engaging both of these types of diversities and understanding them by their cultural purposes and their personal whys, which is big for me is their why, um, um, why they think, why they feel, why they do. And then which I'm also uh, thankful for is the powerful friendships that I've created by understanding those whys or the bonds in which create them from understanding one another or even understanding maybe yourself a little more that you didn't know that was there. So that is why I celebrate diversity. Um, I've also lived, I was very small when I put this dream out for myself. I was about eight years old. I wanted to live in five countries, uh, speak at least two languages, and I've accomplished those things and I want more. So uh, I kind of dive in and that's how I've uh, celebrated diversity. So why is diversity important to me? Diversity is important to me for various reasons. However, the main one obviously being because I am also a diverse fellow myself. From everything from my interests to my music to the videos I watch, I like a variety of things. And while that is specific to music or my interests, I think it's, it should be applied to life because nothing is, in this world is the same. Even in small knit communities, there's different types of diverse, from high, uh, diversity from height, differences to size differences to whatever you can think of so diversity in that aspect is important but aside from that it's also important at work because it, your people are able to provide different solutions to similar problems and while this gentleman over here or this gentle woman over here per se is that a word i don't know but this gentle person over here may actually have one approach to a solution, I may have a different approach because of my experiences. Now, neither one may be wrong, but it can, can help complete the whole picture. So perspectives are incredibly important in the workplace and in life in general. Um, how do I celebrate diversity? I celebrate diversity by being the best Bennett I can be. Um, this is one of the things that I like to consistently strive for. And aside from being the best person I can be, I try to make sure that I am representation of black excellence from my business, Cyber Bennett, to when I'm working at Cyber Clan, to my um, other endeavors, such as the not-for-profit organizations I'm a president, a part of. Um, no matter what it is that I do, I make sure that I promote um, diversity as it is incredibly needed in this world and as I'm included in these various endeavors I make sure that I'm a good representation so other people are also allowed to follow suit and are given another opportunity based off of it. is how does CyberClan celebrate diversity? So CyberClan is doing a great movement right now and as many other corporations are as well, is that CyberClan is actively celebrating diversity, right? By acknowledging our employees, by us um, acknowledging one another, as well as our differences, asking those hard questions, questions and um, bringing that unique person to light. I also want to think about the diversity inclusion from like, we have our Slack channel, uh, we get to share our thoughts. I get to ask questions and like kind of put them out there that I hadn't done in the past because I didn't really know a space to do that in. And so creating that Slack channel and also the, the, the weekly or monthly invites to do so has also helped um, me kind of be more myself. Um, so that's been super helpful. And then highlighting the monthly celebrations and events such as this uh, is, is a big leap um, and change for, for CyberClan. So thank you.
how does cyber clients celebrate diversity? So I've been a cyber clan for since the beginning of this year, so a couple months now, and I've noticed a very a various amount of ways that cyber clan celebrates diversity. So they also include it on their happy hours. And they have a, a, a certain group or, or a committee per se that's devoted to diversity and inclusion that I'm also a part of, which is a part of this series. And I think that says a lot about the organization as a whole. Now, as I joined, I was told that, oh, CyberClan, we're, you know, we're a family or, or not family, but, you know, we, we, we're close. We believe in, you know, having values and et cetera, right? Like that family oriented assembly, assembly. And while many companies say this, CyberClan really has that family feeling. Like it's, it's a, it's a, it's a way that I know I can feel comfortable being a part of the company. And that is something that not every company has. And so CyberClan makes sure that diversity is promoted throughout the year, whether it's women, whether it's minorities, whether it's some, just, just actually, I don't even think there's anything this month that I may know about that uh, for the reason of it. But even then, just because it's not the, the theme of the month, they still make sure to consistently push the same message. And with us being a global company, we're able to, you know, we have, we obviously have a variety of different individuals and from different areas, different talents, different backgrounds. And I think that's another reason why we're so diverse and we're so open to and accepting of diversity in other, um, other categories is simply because we have uh, we're a melting pot per se, a melting pot of talent. And the best way to ensure that we are able to deliver the best services is making sure that our employees or other peers are feeling, you know, uh, comfortable with where we're at. And simply put, that's how I believe CyberClan celebrates diversity. And that's just within the first few months. So I look forward to seeing the other ways that CyberClan actually celebrates diversity. However, long story short, I enjoyed here. <laughs> uh, the next thing is, why would you like to see diversity uh, highlighted at CyberClan? So how would? Um, I like CyberClan to um, continue what you're doing, which is awesome, as I mentioned. And then also I suggest that we have communications um, corporate-wide from a diversity and mission statement. So let's create one and then check in, You know, have that check and balance and then talk to our people and our team. So uh, create the initiatives from a corporate, corporate practice, such as uh, driving into demographic diversity uh, versus, as I mentioned, those two type of uh, diversities uh, that, we, that we had before, right? The, the social and the, the demographic. So kind of diving a bit more into the demographic diversity is something I'd like to see. Uh, the next is why is diversity important? So uh, diversity is important in general and for me is who I am, right? Being thrilled about who I am and how I share it. And uh, that is the culture and demographic side of it. But in a from and find and explore, I think that's where we, we connect with one another and we enhance one another and we have fun. Um, I'm recently reading uh, the book from Yo Yo Ma that just came out uh, this week or last week uh, called um, Beginner's Mind. And he has a statement that I think really hits home. If culture gives us meaning, that meaning connects us together as species and drive us together um, so we can live by those tools, we need to forge a collective community and identify as humans of the human species. And I think that's key, it's human species and we're all together in this together. Thank you for the opportunity and have a good one, bye.